now I'm going to head over here and fight Smenderman. And I'm going to leave this running this time. Probably put it in fast motion or, or something. Put some Benny Hill music in the background. And I'm hoping I'll find... There's one right there. I hope I don't die. Oh, better eat before I get there. I fought a little little Enderman dude earlier, and he almost killed me. Just one of them. Oh, oh, yeah, with this lag, it's not going to help. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, son. Oh, there he is. Oh. oh. Did I get him? Oh, no, he's still alive. Dang. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to make a shelter. At least I got one, though. I'm going to have to make a shelter once I get up here in the flat area. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and there's zombies. Let me just make a good shelter right here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, zombie. 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 Go away, zombie. Don't want you. Another one behind me, huh? Yeah. Okay, Enderman, over here. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. That was a zombie. Oh, man. Slow zombie. Okay, any more Enderman? Oh. about is this creeper oh shit oh no 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 oh oh shit oh shit oh what the hell happened there oh he's still alive oh man this is not good mm. that creeper is gonna freaking blow my ass up Wait, creeper. God, this is a worst sword ever. Finally, and I didn't even get a frickin' ah. Didn't even get a pearl out of that. That was the worst sword ever. <laughs> that creeper was following me around the whole time. Uh, Come on. Moon's going down. I've got one and a fragment. I think it takes five fragments to make one of them. That's going to take me a couple more nights to get five of them. Right, there's one step that I failed to even mention I think well I might have mentioned it but I didn't elaborate on it um, is that I need paper for the modifiers and if I want to make a um, enchantment table I'm gonna need more paper I'm gonna need at least one book um, that those both of the villages that I found were pretty much tore up. There's no bookshelves, no no anything in them. So I'm went out to the closest um, river and I'm just hunting down sugarcane. So I'm going to need eight paper for one of the modifiers for the plate and another three. For one of the um, tough rods so that's 11 paper plus three more for a book 
for the uh, enchantment table. So that's um, 14 altogether. And I actually... Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. Poison a spider. Where the hell did he come from? I don't even see a... What the fuck? Where'd you come from? He didn't poison me, though, luckily. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's a poisonous tree right there. A spider tree. Oh, maybe there's something good in here. Uh, this might save me the trouble because you could also use uh, thalmium. And a lot of times they have them under these trees. And nope. A little bit of redstone, some copper. And I might save that for some other time. I don't need any of this other crap. Oh, all right. So yeah, I'm going to find these um, reeds. Like I said, I need, need 14. I have some back there. I think I have five, six, seven, I don't know, about eight planted. But I don't really want to use them. I might need them. Um, so I'm just going to find the 14 that I need here. And then I'm going to go back. And I'll meet you back there. All right. So to make a cleaver, you need one blade, one plate, and two um, rods. So I'm going to make, I want to get, to get 70% um, beheading. See, this auto automatically comes with beheading. But to get 70% beheading, I think that starts out with 20%. To get 70%, you need five modifiers. And to get five modifiers, you have to change two of these into either paper or thomium. And I, since I don't have any thomium, I'm going to have to use paper. So I got my blade, and I got one of these rods. So the other rod and the plate is going to have to be out of paper. So I need to make... It's this one. All right. Paper, tough rod. And that took oh, way more than I thought it was going to take. This says that it only take, costs three material. I had 15. It took six. So it took double. Well, that's not going to work because the plate costs eight. If it's double, I'm going to need 16 paper for that. So I'll be back. I'm going to have to go get some more freaking reeds. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And, yeah, I got more paper. Um, so let me put the plate in there and see if it works. And it... Wait, oh, I'm in the wrong table again. <laughs> put the plate in, or the stencil, and the paper, and yeah. Bam. Yeah, it took 16. So it's double. That's a trip. I thought I knew that, and I didn't know that. Okay, so now I got it. Now I need to put it together, and I need to use this forge for that. Um, go to there. Put the blade in. Put the paper plate. Paper rod. And, wait, siren rod. And the paper rod. And, yeah, see, see modifiers remaining five. See, if you take this paper out. If you used any other materials in here, it's going to say three modifiers. Modifiers, if you don't already know, are um, like the enchantments on, um, on vanilla weapons. So, all right. So, I got an iron cleaver with five modifiers on it. Yeah. <laughs> So now I just got to put the stuff on it. And this is what actually what I'm going to do. You see, I do have one um, interpearl in here. Got an interpearl and an obsidian. And, whoop, lag, lag spike. Go back here and put the, put the cleaver in here. Interpearl and an obsidian. And it goes, oh wait, okay, this is what I have right now. If you look down there, it says chances 
to be hid or chance to be hid 20%. After I put the interpearl and obsidian on it, it says chance to be hid 30%. Yeah. So I got one interpearl on it, or one interpearl and obsidian on it. Now I need to find four more interpearls and uh, then it'll be ready for the so I need to save two of my diamonds. Um, so I'm going to use two of them to make an enchantment table. So I need, oh shoot, I need to go mine some more obsidian. I had just enough for what I needed to do. So I'm going to have to get go mine four more obsidian also. And the, oh, I have more paper here. Cool. So I do have enough for another book. I was worried about that. And a book. Whoop. What happened? Oh, oh, I need um leather. For a book. And I don't have that. So I'll be back. I'm gonna go mine four more pieces of obsidian. Go get a find a cow and I'll be right back. All right, I made an enchantment table and an anvil. <laughs> Took my supply of ingots down, of iron down quite a bit. But I managed to, well, I put, I'm not sure how many of the levels that I had I, that I, I started with or got while I've been playing. But um, I ended up, Use, putting um, level 8 enchantments on each piece of armor. Uh, actually, I repaired it all first um, using the anvil. And then I got I got fire protection 1 on my helmet. Protection 2, thorns unbreaking. Blast 1 and unbreaking. And fire 1 on my boots. And I also did two level one enchantments on two different bows and got power one on both of those and combined them for a power two. That'll help when I'm in the nether also. And I've used most of my freaking arrows. Um, I'm going to have to kill some... Oh, let's see. Okay, there's eight. Wait, let me put this together. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill some chickens. Get some more arrows, because I'm going to need them when I'm in the nether. For sure. So, I'm just going to have to... Now, I'm just going to have to wait for nighttime. And fight. And, and hopefully, find some more um, Endermen to fight. If anybody else tries this, and, and if, when I try this again in the future, um, next time I, I'm in a new uh, modded world... I'm going to do this close to a desert because it seems like it's a lot easier to get Endermen in the desert at the beginning of the game. So yeah, I will we'll be back after I get four more Enderpearls. All right, I'm back. Um, I spent about, I don't know, five nights over there in the Extreme Hills area and got two Enderpearls so far. I'm going to have to go back in a little bit, but I... <laughs> Busted my chest plate already. I lost it. I was trying to pay attention. I was going to freaking repair it before it got too bad, but yeah, too late now. And my helmet's almost gone. My boots are almost gone. And my sword's almost gone. Um, so I'm thinking I, I'm going to actually use this cleaver to try to get pearls. Uh, the beheading has something to do with luck. So maybe um, it'll kind of be like a looting sword. But I'm going to have to get, well, first of all, I'm going to put these pearls on real quick. So it'll give it a better chance. Oh, wait, do I have to do it on here? I don't know. Okay, put it on here. And one, two, okay, two modifiers remaining. And it's got a 50% chance of beheading now. So that's cool. And alright, so I'm going to repair my armor. And make a new chest plate. 
<laughs> oh yeah, look, I've got freaking 22 levels just from that short period of time. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get back out there and try to get the last two so I can get to the Nether before I have to get off tonight. All right, I'll be back in a while. All right. Finally got the last two Ender pearls. Um it actually, after I started using this cleaver, uh, it only took one more night to get the other two, which, you know, that just could have just been coincidence. Um, one, two, that is 70% chance of beheading. So that's really cool. That's all I have on it. It doesn't have any sharpness. It doesn't have any... Um, smite or anything so it's not going to be the most powerful sword but it should give me heads <laughs> that sounded funny yeah it should it should at least give me the uh wither skelly heads that i need so i'm gonna make the portal right here and when I get ready to go into the nether, I will be back.